What's going on everybody? It's your boy Cesar and we are talking about Compound today. You guys, if you don't know, I'm on a cruise right now in the Caribbean. I will be away for the next seven days or so from the home office so I don't have my face up uh, on, the, uh, on the video. But I'm using my phone and I'm using TradingView here. We're at $52.88. We've gone lower than I thought we would. Dropped as low as $43. I didn't believe that we would drop below $63. I really didn't. But on the bright side, I don't think that this means anything detrimental for Compound. It was a surprise, but as it was kind of in turn with everything else that dropped over the past week, it kind of makes sense um, that any and all coins would kind of drop. So this is this one was no exception. It would have been nice to see Compound hold this $63 range. It definitely would have been nice, but all this means, you guys, is we're essentially back in the same accumulation range that we've been in for, well, really a couple years now. We've yet to break out of it, and that, that also kind of makes sense because with this move, this this false breakout that we looked like we had here, we didn't continue further as I you know initially expected, as we were all waiting for. Um, this consolidation did look really healthy, but I do I do think that this drop that we've experienced over the past uh, week is largely contributed to just the drop that we saw across the whole markets um, over the past week. So anyways, looking at Compound right now at $52.69, I do very much still believe that the targets I've talked about throughout this whole entire uh, time talking about Compound are still on the table. Targets such as $2,000, $8,000, you know, anything and everything in between. We're at $52.62 now. I very much do still think that that's on the table. But if we look at the weekly RSI, we've absolutely, I, I, I say absolutely, we've we've potentially broken this structure that we have here, right? Um, we do still technically hold like this kind of look. You know, it's, it's more of a straight line. It's not as curved as that look, but, and that's not the best drawn line. I don't know, something like that, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe something like that. I can't get it right on, but I, I hope you see what I'm trying to go. I really can't do it, man. Um, all, all that to say, though, I'm not worried about it. I, I do hate to see it down below $63. That just means that we are further away from go time than I initially thought. Um, but it's all good, man. It's all good. We're not doing anything that's too detrimental. It is a little bit of a, uh, a speed bump along the road to glory, but... All in all, I do think Compound will recover and do fine. If we look at the RSI for what it's worth, too, you can see down here, you've got a low, you've got a lower low than this low here, while maintaining a low here and a higher low with a pretty sizable wick. And it's really not that much volume on this drop, so that's that's kind of a nice aspect to it. You've got a big move without a lot of volume. That, that provides, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Validity. Provides less uh, validation to the move itself. Um, let's go ahead and look at Binance, or maybe that was on Binance. Let's just see the Comp USDT. Yeah, yeah. Binance being the uh, the largest exchange in the world, USDT pairs being the largest traded pair out of most crypto exchanges, if not all crypto exchanges, like almost all the time. Uh, being that there's not a lot of volume at all, dramatically less than average volume actually, on a pretty significant move. I'm not worried about this. To me, it's it's almost like a false move in itself. I'm sure we will see a rapid recovery at some point, but when that point is remains to be seen. If we look at the daily here, we are pretty oversold. We've been in a steady downtrend in the daily RSI. I'm rejecting the 50 area a few times, and now we are in the oversold zone. It looks like with this red day today, we might be rejecting the oversold zone and coming down for a lower daily closing low than we had here. So expect to see prices below $51, potentially even below $50. I don't think we'll go below this low at $43. I don't think we will, um, but I do expect that we will go below $50. So just, just keep that in mind. Don't be scared if that happens. That would generate some bullish divergence in the oversold zone, which would be a really nice look in itself. Um, and that's that's really all I got to say. So probably down for now. Other than that, everything is still on the table. It just might not happen as uh, as relatively soon as we were hoping for. This this crash below $63 is definitely not what we wanted to see. So that just all that means is we're probably going to consolidate um, for a longer amount of time. So if you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. I know it's a bit different. You can't see my face. And again, I am on a cruise. So the... <laughs> The, uh, the conversation might be a little bit little bit different as well, but that's all I got for you guys. If you like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to see more. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.